Well, obviously, I'm gonna have to find somebody to fill this job where I can keep my hands off of. You looking for work? Thank you very much for the very attractive offer. But I'm not interested. Well, no, I understand. I mean, <laughs> silly of me. You couldn't possibly come back to work here. What are you talking about? Well, it's, well, it's interesting. I mean, it doesn't bother me at all, but obviously it creates a kind of problem for you. Frazier, could we go now, please? Of course, dear. I guess this is goodbye for now, Sam, but remember, there's no such thing as a former patient. I think you'll find that once you've been a patient of mine, I'm always there when you... Oh, great. I'll bet this is important. <laughs> No, Frazier, no. Uh, I just want you to tell me what you think put Diane in the ha, -ha house. Well, I'm not a doctor, and even if I were, I couldn't discuss it with you. Ah, it doesn't matter. I know she went nuts because I kicked her out of here. And by the way, Sam, I don't think you should use the word nuts when discussing Diane. Well, you've met her. Give me a better one. Bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Sam. I'll, I'll pass that along to... Thor. Right. Right. Well, uh, it's getting late. Uh, thanks for the cold one, Sam. You're welcome, Frazier. The beer, I mean, not Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Where's our birthday girl? She's in the back. She'll be out in a minute. Oh, Sam, would you call her? Carla! I have a great deal to do. We want to start moving my clothes in tonight. Frazier, do you have enough closet space? Loads, Diane. Don't worry about that. Carla, Frazier and Diane here have a gift for you. Be still, my heart. Many happy returns, Carla. Yay. Beautiful wrapping. Oh, yes, Coach. Exquisite wrapping. Now let's get to the joke. <gasps> oh, Diane, these are beautiful. Frazier picked them out. Thank you, Frazier. Don't mention it. Sam, how about a little vino to break them in? Good yeah, coach, coach. yeah, I want to make a toast. I want to toast to the two people who had enough class to get me a real gift. To Diane and Frazier. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, Diane is my salvation. It's my patience that have caused this distress. Well, think of it. Day after day, miserable people coming into your office and pouring out their litany of depression and anxiety. The only way my situation could be any worse is if I actually listened to them. <laughs> Sam needs my help in the bar. If you feel any spark of jealousy, please, let me assure you, I could work side by side with this man for the rest of my life and feel nothing. Work? Hell, I could live in the same house with her and never be tempted. I could sleep in the same bed and get nothing but a good night's rest. I could get out of jail after 12 years. <laughs> serve on a ship with an all-male crew for another four. Be dropped off on a desert island for another three, eating nothing but raw oysters. <laughs> and if Diane were to walk out of the surf naked one day, all I'd want from her would be the hockey scores. <laughs> And you wouldn't even get that. I'm afraid that's not good enough. Uh, you, you're our friends. Uh, you believe me, don't you? You'll talk to, won't you? Uh, come on, Diane. We've missed the sorrow, but maybe we can still catch the pity. <laughs> Mr. Tortelli, I hate to see any human being suffering without doing something to help. Now, I'd like you to call this number anytime, day or night. Uh, is this your office? No, no. I'm far out of your price range. This is the uh, number of a promising graduate student. You could put him on the map. <laughs> ah, there he is. Frazier, can't we put this off till tomorrow? It's such a lovely evening. Let's not despoil it. So, Diane, you only inflame violent emotional confrontations by putting them off. Your intelligence inflames me. Oh, really? Well, then, E equals MC squared. <laughs> On 
Ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. Oh, baby. <laughs> Want to come in and have a beer? Well, I uh, I wouldn't want to impose. Okay, good night. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Oh. I guess I got a little time for some barroom cheddar. Might even do the old boy some good. Uh, maybe. Well, I'll have a tankard of your finest lager. Well, I understand the. Local Boston Red Sox baseball franchise has a Herculean task of it to qualify for the postseason tournament. Yeah, they really stink this year. Stink? Hmm. Interesting theory. Frazier, sometimes people do thoughtless things. They don't mean any harm. They just don't know any better. They're insensitive. Well, good Lord, Diane. You sound like the psychologist I had when I was eight. What are you trying to say? <laughs> There's no such thing as a snipe hunt. They played a childish prank on you. I know that. What? Good Lord, Diane. I mean, a man does not crouch in the woods for two hours without having a revelation or two. <laughs> so this is part of a plan, and I unwittingly helped you? Yes. Razor, how devious. <laughs> But why didn't you tell me? Well, I couldn't trust you. You'd have thought it was too cruel. Oh, are you kidding? I would have helped. Frazier, this is so unlike you. No, but it's what guys do, darling. We screw each other to the wall. <laughs> Boy, it's great to be one of the gang, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, you see, when we get up to that clearing, I'm going to get them to pose for a photo. And after they disappear into the woods to beat out Snipe, I'm going to rush to the car, drive back here, and make you one of my famous omelets. There's a find your cunning arousing. Mm. Well, that's what it's there for, baby. Mm. <laughs> I've got to share this with the troops, Diane. Uh, men, you're not going to believe this, but uh, Diane there just attempted to tell me that there's no such thing as a snipe. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Diane, they will say anything and keep me at home. Diane, I promise you, you will not become a snipe widow. All right, now, men, let's go get one. To the woods! Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I swear to you, years to come, we're going to all sit back and have a good laugh over this. Not all of us will be laughing. You'll see. Trust me. <laughs> Look, it's starting to snow. Don't worry, Fraser. The colder, the better. <laughs> <laughs>